So you're gonna buy a used boat and you've heard about this thing called a compression test. Do you need one? Should you pay for it? We're gonna talk about that on today's video. Hi, my name is Sean and welcome to Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. On today's video, we're gonna talk all about compression tests. One of the most common things our used boat buyers ask for is a compression test. And sometimes that's a great idea. And other times it's completely unnecessary. So today we're gonna to cover topics that are all related to a boat compression test and whether you need one or not. The first thing we're gonna talk about is what is a compression test? What does a marine engine need to run? Is a compression test essential? And can I skip a lake test and just have a compression test? We're gonna answer all those questions and more. A compression test is essentially the measure of the ability of an engine to compress a fuel and air mixture in the cylinder so that it can be ignited by a spark. The more compression, the more the ability of the engine to produce power. If there is no compression, that fuel and air charge will not be able to fire. The marine engine needs three things to run. It needs good fuel and air mixture. It needs a good ignition source. And then it needs compression so that those two things can work. If you take away any of those three, the engine will not run. If any of those three are underperforming, the engine will run poorly. So if an engine has good compression, good fuel and air mixture, and good spark, it will perform properly. That will mean it will shift, it will idle, and it will get up to wide open throttle. And if any of the three of those things are taken away, the engine will not run right. A compression test is essential when diagnosing a poorly running engine. It is one of the tools that we use when we're trying to figure out why a boat engine won't run properly. Some people believe it's also a good test when you're thinking about buying a boat. And it does give you a little bit of peace of mind. Whatever you do, never skip a lake test when someone's selling you a boat. We hear all the time about dealers who sell from lots that aren't on the water or private individuals selling to other private individuals. And they start an engine in a driveway and they do a compression test. And those things are only part of the picture. A compression test and a driveway run will not show how the engine operates under load. The only way to do that is to put the boat in the water, load it up with people and take it up to wide open throttle and see if it will reach the engine RPM that the engine manufacturer designed it to do. So you're buying a used boat and you don't want to be stuck with something that's going to cost you a lot of money to repair. Should you have a compression test? The answer as you've seen from this video is maybe. Compression tests never ever takes the pace of a good on the water test. And it's a great diagnostic tool if your engine is underperforming. Is the engine producing enough compression to fire the fuel and air charge? Thank you for watching today's video. For more information, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and look at the description below for a link to a blog post we've written on the topic and to a used boat buying guide. We'll see you out on the water. <music>